Alright, so describe a conventional day in the life of a uh, dirty diet then. Wake up, about 2pm, poach some eggs, mash up an avocado, put them on toast, fill up a bag with like a battery charger, some paint, a flask of tea <laughs> and anything else I might need and then uh, head about my business putting stickers on things and uh, and then when I'm drunk in the evening I'll head to the studio and try and create something out of out of the day's events. At some point in the PM, I wake up annoyed at my sleep dead, break up a joint on my weed then, escape to my feet then. I don't really live a very conventional life. I'm always out and about doing something. I like to like break into shit and <laughs> climb things and like do odd stuff. I'm not like a pub night nightclub sort of person. The three years kind of shot by, I didn't realise I was taking so long. I like to leave a two year gap between albums. It's just a nice amount of time, isn't it, to have in between two projects. I don't like this loads of albums in a year because you just get bored of that. But I'm sort of done after a couple of years when you've done three albums a year for two years, like, do you know what I mean? I'm not about to change what I find funny or what I find accurate or right or unfair. These things aren't going to change, but the way I deliver them, maybe I'm less tactless. Maybe there's a tiny bit more thought gone into some of the more horrible things I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> It has all the obnoxiousness, but without maybe as much crass crudeness because, you know, I've got older. I'm less determined to provoke reaction in people of that nature because it's a fucking headache and people can't necessarily take you making a beast out of some character you met and then writing about it because they're like, you can't say that about us. And you're like, well, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about two people I met made a monster out of and wrote a song, you know, like... <laughs> like some grown up dickhead shit, you know, like, I'm never gonna change, man. Boldly cover up and buy the vibe beside the bigger me. Literally just sit and keep it rigid as a figurine. Listen, it's a kindred little spirit from a different scene. Coke sniffing anti-social prick within the guillotine. If you ask me, the truth is everything can be funny. It's just the context in which you put it in. So if I want to say something about something, <laughs> That, that is, it is, might be detrimental because I'm trying to be, it is detrimental. I don't think there's any harm in highlighting a lot of that and adding comedy to it and making light of like something that is quite dark or negative because that's what humour is. When I upset someone and uh, if the reasoning behind it is dumb and you're just drawing tenuous links between things I've said and the way you feel and I don't even fucking know you then no, I don't feel guilty at all. I think you're an idiot. I'm not about to hear as TLC no scrubs and decide because I don't have a driving license, I'm gonna take it up with them. Like that's insane as far as I'm concerned. Like I have I have sat in the passenger side of my best friend's ride numerous times, but I don't think that song applies to me. I don't give a shit what you think. When you describe some of the dramatic aspects of your personality in song, it's, it's dramatic. You've made, you've made a monster, you've, you've you're, you're playing with your personality and like seeing where you can, which bits you can like exaggerate and stretch out and warp and bro. I mean, if we all just told some mundane shit about the breakfast we cooked and the fucking bath we had, then there would be no point. Yeah, way back when we were guzzling pills, stuck in a thrill, like fuck it, nothing is real. A simple punishment was nothing to feel Encouraged to steal, pull a stunt and buckle the wheel We're gonna do a big, big UK run I'm excited about this tour because we've upped the production level We've upped the set I've never been one for like rehearsing as such But I've put a lot, I've put more, much more thought into this one And a bit more planning Bringing some extra characters in That are gonna be part of the show and stuff And I, yeah, trying to move it away from just a geezer on a on an undecored stage with its DJ because I've run that for years. It's been great, but I'd like to get a bit more theatrical with things. I think for this run. 